It ain't like that. The CIA and then they want to do the same thing that you did with JFK. Okay. okay. All right. Why? about stormy situation, okay? So you don't have, uh... Time in the United States? Yeah. Just my dog bubbles. My son dog? Thing. Yeah. Davis and Ross, which they good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They, they, they gay. Who? Both. Diddy and Ross. And Cabot. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick, Ross, yeah. and Diddy? Yeah. They all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Cabot is a Hamas supporter. Okay. Who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry to say the wrong. No, 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 no. Hamas support. Okay. Right. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and talk about what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot. Oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's hidden. Uh, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay. How do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call yourself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boulet. The Boulet is, the Boulet is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. okay you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by a, by an African woman in my house. Okay. okay. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. She you know, took care of me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. okay? Um, I had settlement with Sean, okay, against Donald Trump, okay, because he used to belong to their side, you understand, he used to belong to that eliminated group that I told you about, which is an elite group, okay, of individuals which run the whole country, all okay. right, all right, um, basically, what I did, did you talk about, did you explain about the message, or no, please, 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 elaborate, on Thursday, turning to Friday, basically, I went to Donald Trump, I went through the, the gates, I took a, the, no, sorry, I jumped the fence, I took the American flag, I put it in the front desk, and I blew the chandelier. I, basically, what I did that for is to transmit a statement to the American people and to Donald Trump that we're not accepting any more corruption and abuse from their system of friends, okay? okay? Donald's still blind because he thinks that he had, he let Hillary off the hook, and she's okay. You understand what I'm saying? We're trying, okay, keep going. Um, it ain't like that. The CIA, and then they want to do the same thing that they did JFK. Okay. okay. All right. Why? Because they want the United States to fall. They, they've already been creating a state of chaos and confusion in the United States, and they want the United States to fall. Donald was against their agenda and won the presidency, okay? He did get help from Russia. He did get help from the Saudis. He also got help from a lot of Republicans mm -hmm. in here, which is a, the electoral college vote. And he got a lot of support from Republican people, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the elections, yeah, they were fair, but he wanted the electrical college vote. Right, right. Which is the Republican vote, basically, got him through, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't get the, the popular. Uh, popular vote, right, okay? Right. I, I hear so basically, the interior, he got, he made it. He's president-elect by the Electoral College. So he made it. The situation is that he still hasn't kicked out the corruption from the system. He's letting them stay due to, uh, due to money, basically. Because they all like making money. That's why they're all billionaires, etc. So there's only a few, there's select few of that run the country, okay? Mm -hmm. Um so if you I know you may or may not I know you're gonna believe me. Um you have what's called the Illuminati. Illuminati. Of, Illuminati. Illuminati. Okay. Yeah, Illuminati. Okay. They made it in dance. Basically what it means, illuminate it. Okay. Okay. Um they do Satanic ritual abuse, which is basically CIA mind programming techniques mm -hmm. to their own family, kids, uh, etc. on the group, and they bond that way, okay? So they do uh, sexual pedophilia, they do animal abuse, killing of animals, blood sacrifices, and everything in the Bohemian Grove, okay? Right. The Bohemian Grove, the bushes grow there. 
um, George C. and George, both of them are in the same agenda. Um, they caught their cousins with the Clintons, okay? So is Donald Trump. He's also a distant cousin. So if you see, there's a direct correlation of the presence of the United States being bonded between family ties, okay? Exactly. All these family ties wound up, go back to the same place, the royal family in England, okay? The, the family here of the Illuminati are descendants of the royal British family, okay? They have children between themselves. Why? Because it's they and they have that issue, you understand? They want like superiority of the race. Mm -hmm. They see it that way. But it really is it backfires them because it makes them simple minded. You understand? When you when you have sex with someone in your family, your kids are not gonna come out small. You understand? They're gonna come out dumb. All right. So Donald turned his back, but he's still trying to negotiate a peaceful way out, and they have an agenda you kill it. okay example if you look at the Illuminati card games example okay you look at the, the game the Illuminati card game I'm not familiar with it so help me understand it's a card game it's a card game that okay. tells exactly what their agenda is gotcha. it's called mental pre-program that means that you predispose already once you play this, your mind is already predisposed that this happening mm -hmm. and you're accepting it okay so they have a picture of Donald dead in that game uh, okay. All right, I'm not crazy. They have the picture of the <coughs> but they also had the Twin Towers. They had everything on there. Gotcha. Okay, from A to Z. So it's kind of like a hidden agenda, which they try to make it open to our eyes, but we can't. We really don't see it. We're so busy working. It's kind of like oh, uh, hidden in plain sight. It's hidden. Uh, I think I see what you're saying. Okay. okay, how do I know this? Yeah, that's what I want to know. How do you know this? Do you know Sean Combs? Puff Daddy. Yeah. P Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The Boulay the the is a branch of the Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. okay. You're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by an by a African woman in my house. Okay. okay. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. She you know, took care of me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. okay? Um, I had settlement with Sean. Okay. And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are. Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five. Okay. When I I take charge of the threat of death on me, okay, I don't have it, but I can make it available under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting framed for anything. Okay. Right. Um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the, on the phone and on TV with people and stuff. And I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes and I came back and I seen for the herpes and won. But they didn't, did Mark Eros and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon's here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Gotcha. It's possible, I'm not sure. Now, um, how does this lead to war style from? Okay. The Mercedes family. Uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garagos. Mark Garagos used to be Michael's Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, he had a, yeah, he drugged Michael and they all deed him, okay? He didn't overdose, they all deed him because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made $860 million alone last year, okay, in 2017, which who keeps that royalty? The music companies. Who represents the media and entertainment in the United States? Most of them. Mercedes does. Kenny Mercedes, which is Grimmer Mercedes Shire out of Shire out of New York. Okay. okay. So what they've been doing is they've been promoting a hate agenda against Trump. So people hate him. Okay, because they know he is very alpha. Okay. Very alpha in the sense that he likes money, he likes to make money, and he likes women and they know they want to be fame in certain ways with Stormy, with other people, because they want him out of the government. Okay, 
But it's ain't happening because it's too smart for them. You understand what I'm saying? You're trying to, right? Don is intelligent. He's, we have a similar type of intelligence and overview of things. The only thing is he's not seeing that Hillary is a distant cousin of his and Obama have a different plan for him. Do you understand? No offense with Obama. I love each and every American, but he was part of that 9-11 agenda. He's a CIA agent, an ex-CIA agent. That's why there's so much identity issues with Obama. Who knows his real name? They say what, what, he, he was born in uh, Indonesia and he's also born in Hawaii. Nobody knows. Why? Because he's an ex-CIA agent. Okay. Okay. Basically, Osama bin Laden never existed. It was a creation of the CIA and it was Obama in a cave talking shit and looking like an Arab. And then they bombed the Twin Towers. Okay? So my problem is, I'm here to expose each and single one of them to the American public for the crimes committed on September 11th, 2001, and therefore, okay? Now tell, tell me though, how all of that led up to Thursday night, Friday morning? Well, I've been trying, I've been trying, my settlement put me in a box. Basically, I couldn't talk because I was always sued. So I let it be, but they've been following me, and they've had, Mark Carroll has had uh, the FBI on me, has had other department, other agencies looking at me and spying on me, okay, because they want to set me up as an extortionist, like if I was extorting Sean for money. It's wrong. Basically, what happened is, Diddy and Ross, which are good buddies, okay, mm -hmm. they, they, they're gay. Who? Both. Diddy and Ross, and Cabot. They all gay. Okay? DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and Diddy. Yeah. They all gay. Yeah. Gotcha. Cabot right. is a Hamas supporter. Okay. Who supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sorry right. to say the wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Hamas supporter. Okay. Right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian. Okay. Um, the Sirach agenda. Okay, is basically binge drinking pour out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Gotcha. Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Chupac killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up and then people listen to your lyrics and everything and then you become famous. Okay, that's how they do it, all right? Um, Chewbacca's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's in Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is well, the hip hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs all over the United States. Mm -hmm. they move, you need to involve the DEA. They, they move all the dope, okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by by, uh, by customs, by, by the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the okay. inside the United States, okay? They, they move what's called high grade power in the MA, they move cocaine and they move uh, liquid cocaine in the bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move it. I seen the liquid cocaine, I've drank it myself, having sex with Giddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks it all the time. All right, he calls it G juice. That's liquid cocaine. All right. Um, how do I know there's a conspiracy against Trump? Because it's in the Illuminati card deck. He should, look, he should look at it for himself. But let me let me bring it back to uh, Thursday night, Friday morning. Sure. I mean, how did all of this? I think I better understand what you're what you're saying. But what I want to know is how did that prompt you? How did that make you do what you did? That night? Well, we get into a point that his assassination is coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it's an agenda they perpetrate on the media and the news. Example. Madonna is a client of Mercedes, Ben Mercedes. Mm -hmm. He has her go on public TV and say, Oh, someone should. I have thought so many times of going up and blowing up the White House. Gotcha. Okay. They gave her that little message. That little message is Hillary's message. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because Hillary sends it to uh, Garibald and Garibald gives it to Mercedes. And they give it to you. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now I get, I get all that. you're gonna need a, you're gonna need an internet so I can show you. If I show you the website, you're just gonna go like, oh fuck. All right, uh, help me understand you. Uh, sure. How old are you? I'm 42. I've been through all my life. Okay. I've had a great life. I've settled five four point one two five million dollars with Diddy. Okay. okay, was he scared? That was an explosive. I don't want to talk about Diddy right now. I want to talk about you. Help me understand you. I mean, who? I don't. Obviously, we never met. I know. I don't know you from Adam's cat. I'm trying to, you know. We'll get back. We'll get back to the event. I, 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 right. I got like thirty years ago. Right. Where, where are you from? 
I'm a, I was born in South Africa. Uh, what town? What we see? Newcastle, the Valley of a Thousand Hills. I'm from Zulu, man. I'm what you call a Zulu. Okay. Right. I was uh, I was born there, and then my parents were Latin descent from Argentina. They escaped the military dictatorship in Argentina. Pinochet, all that? Uh, no, the Argentina one. Argentina. Yeah, my yeah. Pinochet was a Chilean one. Okay. Okay. I can't right. remember. It was like a military dictatorship. I can't remember what their names. All right. All right. Well, uh, how 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 many years did you stay in South Africa? A 12, 13, 12 years in South Africa, and I stayed. 12 years in Argentina, and then I came here to the United States, and I've been here 20 years since. Okay. Uh, 18 years. I right, uh, parents, so you got a mother and father? They Dad, they came and visited me, died here okay. with cancer. And mom went back and back home, I think, over visiting with, uh, with my sister here. Okay. Uh, what year did your father pass away? Um, Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah. Okay. Did that have any effect on you? I mean, what was your really. like, relationship not, like with your father? Well, I suffered a little child abuse when I was a kid, okay. and I believe it's, he's not my real dad, but it's okay, you know. All right. I sometimes, you, you, you know, maybe that's that's what he thought. I don't okay. Know. All right. And uh, your mother, uh, where, where's your mother right now? She's in Argent- I think in Argentina, or traveling in, in Europe. Okay. What's your relationship like with her? Distant, but distant? okay. But uh, distant but nice. All right. Well, any brothers, any sisters? Yeah, both. Also distant but nice. Okay. They both in. In Argentina, well, my brother's in Argentina, my sister's in Europe with my mother. Oh, so you don't have uh, family in the United States? Yeah. Just my dog, Bubbles. My sister. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, you're not married, you're single? I'm divorced. You're divorced? Yeah. Okay. My ex wife is tired of trying to I told her she's an attorney. She was an attorney? Yeah. Where she live? In Boca Raton. In Boca Raton? Okay. Yeah. Uh, does she know anything about this? So have you talked she, to anybody? Yeah, she kind of knows. But what happened was they've been tapping me so much on my phone for intelligence, I figured out how they tap their iPhones. Okay. And basically, it's all the way up. And I see even Hillary knows that they've been watching. They've been watching. My come, come back to me. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into that in just a minute. Let's just stay with your family members and everything. Sure. I'm just wondering if you if you talked to your ex-wife or anybody. Uh, I thought I don't know about time. about what happened about this. Yeah. About, no, this was only me. It was premeditated to give a message to the American public, a wake up call. It's called a wake up call. Uh-huh. It's like when somebody rings a bell for Americans to wake up. Americans like you, like me, like all of us here. Uh, you said premeditated, so you thought about this. You thought this through. Yeah. Uh, How I long don't... have you been thinking about it? It's easy. That's like. Uh, help me understand. I don't. I don't, I don't well, understand. really, when, I... you, when you say premeditated, you must have been thinking about it for a while. How long have you been thinking about doing what you did? Well, when I say premeditated, it means that I went and did it by myself. That's all. And I didn't think about it like for uh, okay. I didn't plan it for oh, Okay. When you say premeditated, I thought maybe you planned it out. Like I ran my okay. own personal investigation, which I figured out myself that. This is going on, and we're still having issues of corruption at the highest place in our government. I get that. I get that. Now, when you say you did your own investigation, what'd you do? Basically, out of all the times I went and saw the attorneys, I did my research online, mm-hmm. and I found out the whole puzzle of their organization. Okay.